kill our children, today we will be exploring the exponential graphs of Newton's cooling. Yeah. Today's example we're going to be using my coffee cup. Mm, so delicious in the bit of time. We're going to be showing how it rapidly cools at the beginning as it interacts with molecules in the air and then slowly but surely reaches the asymptote of room temperatures. Now that all the young ones are out of the cafetorium, we can further develop our experiment. First, we will take the coffee cup and we will place the microwave for about one minute. During this time, the molecules in the coffee will heat up and reach great temperatures. Ah, the coffee is ready. Now we have our molecules nice and excited. Let's go see what happens to them as the time elapses, yeah? Okay, so now we have the coffee cup, which is very hot. You see steam rising. So from here, molecules are very excited with high potential energy. Now, as they touch the air particles, their kinetic energy will transfer to the other particles. Thus losing energy and less losing heat. Now, let's graph it. So, here we have our graph, which we will use to plot the relationship between temperature of the coffee cup and time and hours. So here, if we start with coffee at the initial temperature, say X, we're going to see that this is an exponential decay relationship. So initially, our coffee starts at X temperature and rapidly will start to decrease here. Now, at the beginning, slope is very steady, but as time moves on, it begins to even out this way here. And this is because it is slowly reaching a value of 22.5 degrees Celsius, which is also known as RP or room temperature. So this produces a horizontal asymptote. And as graph reaches like this, we see that the BK slowly, slowly begins to slow down. So we will reach 22.5 degrees Celsius, and eventually coffee cup, which cannot be shown accurately on the graph, will reach 22.5 degrees, but never below. So, to further demonstrate this, we're going to say that I am particle of coffee, and Victoria will be particle of air. Now, because I've been excited by microwave, I'm moving around, I have lots and lots of energy, like I've drank lots of sugar that day, and as soon as I collide with Victoria, she will get some of my energy, and she will begin to move, and I will move a little bit slower, and she will move on to hit other particles. Now, a new particle will come through, I'm still moving with a little bit of energy, and a new particle comes and I collide, Suddenly, I start to go with less energy, and this particle will fly off and off and off. Now, the asymptote of 22.5 degrees Celsius comes from when my energy is equivalent to the kinetic energy of the air molecule. So if we're moving roughly at the same speed, we're bumping, and once we bump, no energy change will occur. Let's see if we keep moving on and on and on. So therefore, that is how the graph rapidly decreases with the rate of energy, and then slowly, slowly reaches 22.5 degrees, but never goes slow. So, now you see how Newton's cooling curve works. We introduce hot substance into, ex into new cooler environment, and rapidly an energy transfer takes place where we're changing kinetic energies, and then slowly, as the energy gets smaller and smaller, little kinetic energy changes occur until we reach temperature of the external environment where no temperature changes occurs. By the way, you have Quizzy on Wednesday.